एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम In the first part of the video, we have uh, seen that when an equation is said to be a Bessel's equation, when it is given in a certain form, that is 1 minus x square y double dash minus 2xy dash plus x square minus alpha square uh, uh, into y equals to 0. Since we need to find out the solution about x equals to 0, which has been established as a regular singular point, therefore the Frobenius method has been used. So we have already written the expression for y. And then since the uh, given differential equation is of second order, we have already found out the derivatives of this y with uh, first order derivative and second order derivative. Now the uh, aim is to find the value of r along with the values of all the constants for which we need to uh, substitute the expression for y, y dash and y double dash in the given differential equation. Welcome to the second part of the video. So for more details, you can refer to the book from H. Chand Publishing, details of which are given here and link is given in the description box. So let us start that. So we have already written the expression for y, y dash and y double dash here. So we need to substitute that back in the given differential equation. So, so the given differential equation was x square y double dash minus x y dash plus x square minus minus alpha square y is equals to 0. So we need to substitute this expression of y, y dash, y double dash in this one. So if we start writing down with this one, so it is n plus r, n plus r plus 1 minus 1 sorry and then this has been multiplied with x square so it is x raised to the power n plus r and here n is starting from 0 to infinity then plus x y dash plus sigma n plus r so n plus r a n x raised to the power n plus r and n will start from 0 to infinity plus x square y so it is plus sigma a n x raised to the power n plus r plus 2 this n will start from 0 to infinity and minus alpha square and y so it becomes sigma a n x raised to the power n plus r and n will start from 0 to infinity. So this is the expression we got after substituting this expression number 2, 3 and 4 in the given differential equation. So now next step is to find the expression for the, the value of this r and the value of the co coefficients. For that we need to equate the various, uh, the coefficient of various powers of x. So let us start with the lowest power of x that is say x equals to x raised to the power r. So we need to equate the coefficient of x raised to the power r. So if we look at this expression. If we look at this expression, for the minimum value uh, n takes is r. So as soon as, sorry, the minimum value n takes is 0. So as soon as we substitute n equals to 0, it, this will be x raised to the power r. So it becomes r into r minus 1 a naught. Sorry, this is a n here. So this is a naught. Then this term will also contribute because the minimum value of n can take is 0 and as soon as we substitute n equals to 0 in this one it gives us r a naught then. This expression will not contribute here because the minimum value n can take is 0 but after substituting even the minimum value of n that is 0 the power of x is r plus 2. Therefore in the equa in equating the coefficient of x raised to the power r this term will not contribute. Then this will also contribute by substituting n equals to 0 so it becomes a naught and this equals to 0. So from this one we can say that a naught can be taken out. Now here it becomes r square minus 1 plus r square minus r plus r minus alpha square is equals to 0. Okay. So which is which can be written as a naught r square minus alpha square this equals to 0. Now here we can say that a naught cannot be 0. 
since a naught cannot be zero, therefore r will take the value as plus minus alpha. So r will take the value as plus minus alpha because uh, the product of two one is not zero, one cannot be zero, a naught cannot be zero, and therefore r square minus alpha square will be zero, which will be giving us this value of r as plus minus alpha. Remember here that this value, this r can take maximum only two values. More than that, it cannot take because it is a second order differential equation and second order differential equation will have only two solutions. So one solution will be corresponding to r equals to r1 say and another solution will be r equals to r2. So r can take only two values which have been decided with the help of this expression. Now, we will equate the coefficient of next power of x that is x raised to the power r plus 1 here. So, in this one we will substitute uh, n equals to 1. So, it is 1 plus r into r a1 minus plus n plus sorry r plus 1 1 plus r a1 and again this term will not contribute because the minimum uh, power it can take is r plus 2 and then minus alpha square a1 this equals to 0. So, if we expand this, this becomes 1 plus r whole square minus alpha square equals to 0. So, we knew about a naught only that a naught cannot be 0, but we do not know anything about a1 that whether it can take 0 value or not. So, from this one we can see that if we expand this, if we simplify this, then this is the product of two. So either this will be zero or this will be zero or both may be zero. If this much is zero, if one plus r is square minus alpha is square is zero, then r will take two more values. So which is not possible. Therefore, this cannot be zero. One minus r square minus alpha square cannot be zero because the, the established thing is that a naught cannot be 0. So, corresponding to that we got the two values of r. But here we have no restriction over a1 and we do not know anything about a1. So, it cannot take two more, we cannot afford to have two more values of r. Therefore, this expression cannot be 0 which forces us to take a1 as 0. Right. So, here we got that the value of a1 is 0. Now, after this, we will, we will equate the coefficient of x raised to the power n in this one. So, n plus r let us say. So, we will equate the coefficient of n plus r or you can, uh, we can equate the coefficient of the maximum power of x that is x raised to the power n plus r plus 2. So, it is up to us that which we, which we would like to equate with. So, if we equate the coefficient of x raised to the power n plus r plus 2, we need to substitute n equals to n plus 2 in this one. So, it becomes n plus 2 plus r n plus 1 plus r a n plus 2 then this will also contribute by substituting n equals to n plus 2. So, it becomes n plus r plus 2 a n plus 2. This will be written as it is plus a n and this will be written as minus alpha square a n plus 2 is equals to 0. Right? Because this is the uh, term here x raised to the power n plus r plus 2. Therefore, this a n will be written as it is. Now, on simplification of this, we get a n plus 2 is equals to rest of all the terms will be taken to right hand side. So, it is minus 1 over this becomes n plus r plus 2 whole square minus alpha square. into a n and this becomes the recurrence relation sorry this becomes the recurrence relation for about from which we can find out all the values of a naught a1 and a3 now you can we can see that the difference in the subscript of this a n and a n plus 2 is of 2 therefore the even coefficients that is a2 a4 a6 will be written in terms of a naught and odd coefficients that is a3, a4, a5 and so on will be written in terms of a1. Now, since we have already established 
that a1 is 0. So, using this recurrence relation, we say that a3, a5, a7, all the odd coefficient, they are 0 since a1 is 0 using recurrence relation. So, that's how the recurrence relation will be used. Now, let us substitute in various values of n in this one. Say n equals to 0. So, we will get a2 as minus 1 over on substituting n equals to 0, it becomes r plus 2 whole square minus alpha square 8 naught. And on substituting n equals to 1, we are going to get a3. So, since we have already established that that is going to be 0, therefore, we will substitute next value of n that is 2. So, on substituting n equals to 2, we will get a4. So, a4 will be minus 1 over r plus 4 whole square minus alpha square and a2. Since we cannot afford to have n number of coefficients, uh, n number of constants, therefore, and a2 has already been written in terms of a0, therefore, this a, the, the expression for a4 will be written further in terms of a0 by using the expression for this one. So, it becomes 1 over r plus 4 is whole square minus alpha square r plus 2 whole square minus alpha square into a naught. So, into a naught. So, this will be the expression for a4. Now, similarly, rest of the expressions can be written. So, we need to write down the final solution using all these uh, constants. So, now, we have already found out the value of r. So, there will be two values of r, one will be alpha and one is minus alpha. So, we can find out these expressions. So, a2 for, let us take for r equals to alpha. So, a2 will be written as minus 1 over alpha plus 2 whole square minus alpha square a naught. If we simplify it, this gets cancelled and we left with 1 minus 1 over 2 into alpha plus 1. So, it is a naught. So, we are left with uh, only this much where alpha will be known to us. Similarly, a4 can be written for r equals to alpha. So, we need to write down this expression for r equals to alpha. So, if we substitute this, so a4 also will be written in terms of alpha. So, it becomes a naught divided by so, here alpha will be written. So, alpha, uh, this will be 16. So, it is alpha square plus 8 alpha plus 16 minus alpha square into alpha square plus 4 alpha plus 4 minus alpha square. So, this is A naught. Yes. So, we, this gets cancelled. This gets cancelled. So, it becomes A naught over. 8 alpha plus 2 and into 4 alpha plus 1. So, this can be simplified further. So, a4 can be written as 1 over 8 dot 4 alpha plus 1 alpha plus 2 into a naught. So, similarly, rest of all the expressions, all the constants can be written in terms of A0. Therefore, for R equals to alpha, the solution will be written as Yx will be written as A0 x raised to the power alpha because x minus x0 raised to the power R was there and this was 1 minus A2 that is 1 over 4 alpha plus 1 x square because the subscript will be deciding the power of x and then plus the rest of all the coefficients, all the values of all the constants will be written. So, that is how the solution will be written. Now, the solution of the Bessel's equation, this is the solution of the Bessel's equation corresponding to the one value of r that is alpha and this is called Bessel's function of first kind corresponding to r equals to alpha. Now, this solution can be summarized as Bessel's solution, Bessel's function of first kind and the expression for Bessel's function of first kind can be seen as Jnx 
gnx sigma r is from 0 to infinity minus 1 raised to the power r r factorial gamma n plus r plus 1 x by 2 raised to the power n plus 2r this is called bessel's function of first kind which is corresponding to uh, the one of the values that is alpha has been taken so here this is called bessel's function of bessel's function of first kind And this subscript will be deciding the order of this Bessel's function. So this is called Bessel's function of first kind of order n. So if we need to find out the Bessel's function of zero order, we need to substitute the value of uh, n as zero. So we can we can find out the, the various Bessel's function that is j not x, j one x, and so on so forth. So as an exercise, you can calc you can find out the expression for this j not, j one, and so on so forth. There will be uh, Bessel's function. Lot of applications are there in engineering for this Bessel's function of first kind. So in today's video, we have learned how to find out the solution for the Bessel's equation. So Bessel's equation is a second order differential equation which has variable coefficients and uh, we need to find out the solution about x equals to 0. x equals to 0, whenever we are given a point about which the solution needs to be found out, we need to first check whether it is an ordinary point or not. Since x equals to 0 is not an ordinary point for this, it, it becomes a singular point. Therefore, it needs to be checked further whether it is a regular singular point or not. It becomes a regular singular point, therefore the method of Frobenius has been used for this. From the method of Frobenius, we have assumed the solution for the Bessel's equation as sigma a n x raised to the power n plus r x naught has been taken as 0, which derivative of which has been found out y dash y double dash, which have been substituted back in the given differential equation. Uh, about, and after that, we need to uh, equate the coefficient of various parts of x. So we got the recurrence relation after substituting the uh, this y dash, y double dash and y in the given differential equation. So we have, we have written the recurrence relation using which the various uh, constants have been calculated. They have been calculated for uh, one value of r that is r equals to alpha. So for r equals to alpha, when we summarize with the expression that is called Bessel's function of first kind and the uh, the subscript of the Bessel's function uh, is n, therefore this is called Bessel's function of first kind of order n which is represented by j and x uh, in a standard format. So that is how we have learned uh, how to find out the Bessel's function of first kind. So uh, I hope you must have liked the video and for more details you can refer to the book from S. Chand Publishing, details of which is given here and link is given in the description box. So please do like, share and subscribe the video and press the bell icon to get the notification for the upcoming videos. Thank you very much. All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.